We're not participating in any events. Uh, James Smith has asked for some private uh, time with uh, families to reflect on uh, on the incidents of last year and certainly want to be respectful of that. But uh, in the last couple of weeks, we have been up at James Smith. We were there for the healing ceremony that FSIN had two weeks ago. And uh, you know that was also uh, a good opportunity to uh, sort of reflect on the past year and what the community has gone through there. When you go back to last year, what comes to mind when you think about what happened there? Uh, from, from my perspective, you know, how, um, how it was kind of all hands on deck here. Well, it, it really was. You know, it was such a, a large scale event. Uh, we had over 550 members involved in that incident. Uh, 181 of those came from other divisions, the rest of them from here within F Division. So, uh, absolutely massive event for us. So, um, it was everybody was at work, everybody was uh, doing their part to make sure that all avenues were covered off and all pieces were covered. So, it was a very, very busy time for us. But, uh, you know, when I think about the incident itself, you know, um, you have to, your heart goes out to those, the victims, to the families, to the individuals who suffered through that trauma, and, and also to our members who responded to it. The, I wasn't up there initially uh, the day of, uh, of the stabbings, but uh, the scene has been described to me as uh, horrific, um, very chaotic initially as you know, more calls were coming in, uh, more victims were being identified, uh, staging areas for medical transport was identified, and people were transporting people to those areas, um, people concerned about uh, the fact that the people at that time we thought there was two responsible hadn't been apprehended so there were lots of nervousness about um, you know are they going to come back are they could they potentially be a victim themselves and so it was uh, it was very chaotic for our members as well as they tried to uh, respond to uh, the stabbings you know the trauma our members went through dealing with some of those crime scenes that were uh, <clears throat> absolutely horrific um, so, you know, we want to make sure that we're supporting them as well. One of the things we've learned, um, sadly, over some pretty significant events here in Saskatchewan, the Humboldt bus crash and the Lolosh school shooting, is that when you have those major traumatic incidents, our members are impacted not just that day or a week or a month later you know that's long lasting impact they don't forget the images as much as we're trained police officers and we have a job to do and uh, those members did it I believe very well that day and as they do every day but um, it, it stays with them they're human beings and and there's effects so we want to make sure we're supporting uh, those employees as well who uh, who were at the scene